In this lesson, we're going to learn about how to speed up development with pipeline fragments. Let's get started. We have a complex pipeline that is ready to be published and run. We'll go ahead and run this pipeline as a job. As our use case expands, we may want to write to a different destination. Typically, the same pipeline can be edited if all we're doing is adding a destination. However, we will have to duplicate the pipeline if the pipeline logic changes slightly, for example an additional processor in the second use case. After duplicating the pipeline, we may go ahead and create a job. Now we have two jobs running, with almost the exact same pipeline logic. Maintaining both pipelines can be a challenge, and this is where pipeline fragments can help speed up development and make your pipelines more maintainable. Fragments are reusable partial pipelines. They can contain one or more stages. The stages can even be other fragments. Let's choose one of the pipelines and create a fragment out of existing stages. We can also create fragments from scratch. We'll select some of the stages and select the fragment icon to create a new fragment. Let's give a name and complete the creation. Fragments can also be shared, just like pipelines, jobs, and connections. We can preview fragments with test data and once ready, we can publish our fragment. After publishing, let's go back to our pipelines and replace the individual stages with a published fragment. Once we publish a new version of the pipeline, we can choose to upgrade jobs that use this pipeline to the latest published version of the pipeline. The platform will take care of automatically upgrading the job with the newer version of the pipeline, which has our fragment. When fragments are upgraded to a new version, the referencing pipelines can all be upgraded. This upgrade of pipelines will let the jobs know that an upgrade is available. We can go ahead and upgrade our jobs and see that they are using the latest version of the pipeline. In this video, we learned how to speed up pipeline development by using fragments. Now it's your turn to try.